This is Luis. I'm 27 years old and I'm a passionate English student and I love teaching uh, and helping others to enhance English ability. Um, <clears throat> what is the course learning purpose? Enhance foreign language linguistics, socialistic and pragmatic competences by completing oral production tasks in specified sets of real-time interaction to communicate uh, and discuss complicated subjects successfully. From the four learning outcomes of the course, which one calls more your attention? Well, the learning outcome that catches my attention the most is the second one, discuss conversational topic, with arguments or conversational ones against convincing an interlocutor for a specific point of view. This results is in particular interesting for me because it highlights the development of persuasive communication skills which are essential uh, to enhance uh, in meaningful debate uh, and discussions. How many activities does the course have? Well, the course has approximately six tasks in total. Uh, I could check the syllables and I could check everything. I could realize that it has six in total. What are sy synchronic interaction activities? Okay, these activities are designed to simulate natural, spontaneous communications, making them valuable for practicing uh, <clears throat> skills like speaking and listening in language learning, or for fostering collaboration and problem solving in group settings. I, I love this one. I love this part of synchronic uh, mood. And, and they are from the... Uh, task number two to four, actually. What does the final exam of the course consist of? Does the final exam imply an individual submission or collaborative submission? Well, uh, checking the all everything, I could see that have individual submission. The exercises <clears throat> include 15 question quiz. Uh, to check listening comprehension using uh, audios with British and American accents comparable uh, to those uh, found in international standardized test. So it's really interesting one. I love it. Uh, my email, my institutional email is working properly, actually, yes. What is your poor pass? for studying English as a foreign language. Well, primarily my purpose for studying English is to enhance my job uh, prospects on career opportunity. Uh, English is a global language and proficiency in it can open doors to various international job markets. Moreover, uh, being influenced in English allows me to assess a vast body of uh, knowledge, including um, <clears throat> uh, scientific research, literature, and global news, which are uh, predominantly uh, available in English. This alliance with uh, the chapter's uh, suggestion that understanding one's motivation is crucial for effective uh, language learning, uh, whether it's for job skills, uh, academic purposes, or personal growth. Uh, regarding to the nature of language study, what if aspects imply acquiring a, a speaking skill? Acquiring speaking skills involves more than just classroom learning. Uh, the chapter highlights that the language study should, uh, should extend beyond 
uh, test books and including real world interactions such as speaking with native speakers, um, pra practicing in a practical and engaging in immersive uh, environment. Uh, these activities are crucial for developing fluency and, and the ability to use language in dynamic and predictable situation, which are key aspects of effective communication. After planning your language study and especially to enhance your speaking skill, how can you assess your process? Well, good question. To assess process in language study, especially in speaking skill, I would focus on practical uh, benchmarks such as participating in conversations uh, with native speakers, presenting ideas fluently, and understanding uh, spoken language in various contexts. The chapter emphasizes uh, the importance of continuous uh, assessment and fine-tuning of uh, studying plans, regularly engaging in a speaking activity and syncing feedback uh, from language expert or native speaker can provide a concrete indicator of the process. How can you organize Lylon language a learning, mention a specific strategy from your experience and from the chapter? Good question. Lylon language learning can be organized by interacting language studying into daily life, um, such as through consistent practice, setting long-term goals, um, and using diverse learning methods the chapter suggests a cohesive approach that includes a course words, independent studying and real world practice like inner cheap or a study abroad program for for my experience I regularly consuming media in the target language and join a language exchange programs and maintaining a journal of language experiences are really effective strategies. This in, ensures continuous improvements and keeps language skills sharp over the time. Thank you so much. I hope this explanation lasts you. Bye-bye.